Hello, mathematicians. I'm here with a little bonus lesson. So I'm going to use line one, like for notes. You don't have to type line one in, but you are going to want to open up Desmos. So let's say we have a trinomial. And let's say our trinomial is 2x squared minus 4x plus 6. And let's say that you do not know what the greatest common factor is. Desmos can find the greatest common factor for you of numbers. It cannot find it for you for variables. But how you could find your GCF of this function is by typing in GCD. So not GCF, they use a different letter. I don't know why, but we're going with GCD. And then you're gonna put parentheses. So parentheses. And I'm gonna type in my numbers. So my number is two comma, four comma, and six. And then I'm gonna close my parentheses. You'll notice down here, we have that negative, or that x equals two in the bottom right hand corner. That's telling us that our GCF of two, four, and six is two. Let's try another one. What if we had 18x squared um, plus 24x plus 48? If you wanna know the greatest common factor of that, you're just gonna type in to Desmos, GCD, parentheses. The first coefficient is 18, comma. The second coefficient is 24, comma. The third coefficient is 48. So then we can see down here in the bottom right hand corner that our greatest common factor of 18, 24, and 48 is six. So Desmos is a great tool to be able to use to help you find the greatest common factor. It can't factor everything for you. It cannot factor variables. So you'll still have to look at the variables, but you could use this to help you factor. So definitely keep this in mind as you're going through and doing different problems.